Greetings, all. Next story is a classic. As we all know, we always love hearing a story when someone sells their soul for money by the devil himself. This is based on The Devil and Daniel Webster. This was a classic gold cartoon from the 90s, 1978, to be precise, by Neve Logan, made his first appearance at the end of the film, Rock and Roll. You may not know this creation, but you well know it. It's called The Devil and Daniel Mouse. It's always about two struggling mouse musicians, Daniel and Jane. When they fired from their late gate, their music team was too old fashioned not with the time. Daniel goes to the pawn shop to pawn his guitar because they didn't have any food or money. Jane wandered off on her own and encountered a shifty Italian creature, a white suit who introduced himself as Beelzebub, or if anyone knows the name, the devil. But she was unaware of him. He was trying he was she was trying he was trying to against convince her to sell his soul, her soul to him for money and riches and of course to be a great singer. Then he and his we his weasel weasel weed weasel offered her fame and fortune in exchange for signing a contract in her own blood. Jane does not know read the final print. Trust Bezel because Biel turned himself to look like God. Oh God, that's a pain in the butt nicks. And signed herself over a record producing company. Little does the suspicion that LB is none other than the devil himself. At midnight, at the height of her frame, he will return to collect her soul to assist Weeze conjure three band members within there a rabbit named Rabbit Delight, even named Boom Boom Beaver, and a Prey Mantis named Prey Mantis. Which is all very fun for Jane. Until later on, her best friend, the world Daniel, was left in the cold, unfortunately. As the lead singer of Funky Jane in the Animal Kingdom, Jane is soon the most popular rock star on the planet. But poor Daniel, oh God, left in the cold. When Bezo come, but then when it was her final day, her final singing talent revealed. She was singing so many good music, she got up from the crowd and sang in front of the end. Her singing was very impressive. The one who sang, the one who voiced her, was none other than Annabelle Keyshaw. Annabelle Keyshaw was a very good singer, even back then. I mean, come on. Oh, wait, never mind. The singer who did Jane Mouse was Valia Carter. And who is Valia Carter? Let's see what she has, what she has in her records. She played beautiful, brilliant songs for personal life. Hollow Moon, Just a Store Thrown Away, Wild Child, The Way It Is, Find a River, Midnight Over Honey River, Vanilla Gits, and so many songs that are on the list. But I rest of the case. Back to the review. I apologize for that. Now then, as she was enjoying her fun and fancy time, unfortunately, that night, the devil came to pay her dues. And after that, she went running, 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 escaping from BL. She comes to realize what she has done. Distrusted, Jen goes to Daniel for help. But then Daniel says that your soul can be saved, Jen. I'll help you. Music always set people free or something like that. But then Beyonce sub came and Daniel says that she can be saved with a trial. I challenge you to a trial. And he does challenge him to a trial. But unfortunately, Beyonce shows Weez Weez lost the judge and former clients that used to work with him. Like a singer that was once a very Brian singer. A lawyer who wanted to become very, very powerful. And the other one, famous box office champion in the music biz. That's all I know. But unfortunately, but unfortunately, if the devil, the devil stated, if Daniel lose the trial, his soul as well as Daniel would be taken as payment. At first, trial seemed hopeless. Considered if Daniel had no education, the lawyer cannot present even the beginning of the reasonable argument with least Jane. However, nothing else to offer. Daniel begins to sing a heartfelt song. Jane joined in and do her self and our unhelpful band members and the other animals who watched the trial began to sing, clap along with tunes. So the jury and three lost souls. The enraged devil attempts to summon the four demons to stop the heroes, but the spirit he conjured as far prey to sway of Daniel's music. And then yeah, but then Daniel says, Your honor, I know that music can free your soul or something like that. And then he just says, I denounce you free. And so are the other souls. But then a frustrated devil finally leaves. 
and he was about to leave. But it's last with, well, I've learned my lesson. Never be a nice guy! He turned a fire brim and then saw boom! Big explosion! Boom! Bam! Boom! It's just kind of weird if I've done. So the frustrated devil finally is returned to hell, taking Weege, all the other minions with him. Two minus embrace another as the film ends. And so, this was a very classic cartoon, which was only made in 1978. The animation was very impressive, as I would say. Canada and Naveen Anime Studios did a really good job of the animation. I say that the devil scared a lot when I first watched it when I was young. And as for Jane, well, Jane was a good singer, but she was very she was very dumb to sell her soul just for music. Seriously, though. Stupid. I would never do that. Uh-uh. No. No, no, no. If there's one thing I know, never sell your soul. Now, the actors who played these marvelous guys, Jim Hensall played a voice actor as Daniel Mouse and Beaver D and Drummer. Annabelle Kushel, Jane Mouse. But as for the ta singing talent, John Sebastian as Daniel Mouse, and as I said, Variety Carter as Jane Mouse. And Chris Wiggins, oh, he played a nasty voice of Satan. And of course, Mar Martin Louvant as Wee's Weaselton. And Palm Broker and Radio DJ. And Dennis Lawrence as journalist and Victor Viper. Ugh, the name. And the list of songs we got is Look Where the Music Can Take You, performed by John Sebastian, Valley Tucker, created. I got a song to sing before my valid singer, of course. Rocky Marathon Concert Media. Can you help me find my song? Look when the music can take you. Perform with Sebastian and Valley Carter again. Look when the music can take you. Another and the final. Neve story. A tie-in with the record to release Neve Records. Narrator John Sebastian, the album theater dialogue, leaf and sand from the film soundtrack, as well as song performed by Sebastian, which gave a lot of good credit. And the full color? The color was very dull at this time in life, but I say it was quite colorful. But also the fact that it's called Devil Going Mouse and Tale of Fantastic Science Fiction. Now that was released into a movie collection with other shorts. Romeo, Romeo Zero, and Julia Eight. An Easter Fever, a Galactic Trip, Thanksgiving, and a Cosmo Christmas. If you guys want to go check them out, go check them out. And as for the movie that they appeared, now as for the so say rock and roll, that movie was mm, a very good movie, but I'll do a review of that one day or another. So this is creepy. And there's my review on, let me see, uh, The Devil and Daniel Mouse. I hope you guys enjoy my splendid little fear. May you all have a pleasant nightmares of devils. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, my brony watchers, remember to subscribe to my channel, and remember, there's always more with me than meets the eye, or should I say, more than meets a white rose. Night, folks. <laughs>